this is what the uh, my new entertainment center looks like still in the process of hooking up the bottom charge controller but the top one's working showing 14.8 this one's showing 14.9 and that is showing 14.8 14.8, 14.8, 14.9. So those are all working good. Still in the process of hooking that one up. But it's getting there. All the panels are all hooked up. We just gotta wait for the sun to go down or hook up uh, or climb the ladder one more time, throw a sheet up there to cover up the panels before I hook it up. So, but that's what the, it's gonna look like. Still gotta work on my cable management a little bit. It's getting there. It's getting there. So on the way it works is the bottom charge controller is handling the two 100 waters on the west. So roof. The upper one is handling the 200 one the two 100 waters on the east roof. And the up ever is handling the two 250 waters on the south wall. So, so it should bring in maximum total 2100 watts. I know I'll never bring in that much, but all I need to do is replenish what I use. It's like when I turn on the water heater, that's 415 watts. When I use the air conditioner, that'll be about 550. The toasters, I'm guessing about 12 to 1500. And I don't use a blow dryer or a curling iron, so. Trash burning day on the ranch. This has been about probably about three weeks worth of garbage. Yep, so getting that done. Had a nice big pack rat living in here when I was uh, arranging the, the burn pit. Of course, it snuck out the side and I have no idea where it went. But that's kind of the way it goes here. All right. So that's that for the day. There's my Remy. You do good, Remy. <laughs> you want some belly too, huh? Yeah, good, Remy. Yes, you are. Good, Remy. And here comes Ruger. Here comes Ruger. There you go. There's my Ruger. <laughs> Puppies, yes. <laughs> that's, that's enough. That's enough. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Gonna do a little explaining on the solar panels and why I got them set up the way I do. Might be a little better over here. Um, but those six up on the roof on the right are on one charge controller. And the two up on top on the left are on a separate PWM charge controller. So I have 200 watts on one PWM. I have those uh, two 250 watt panels on a separate MPPT. That's the up ever. And I have this PW, this one's set to I haven't adjusted the settings at all. I think it goes up to 14.7 on the battery. This, uh, the two on the left, I have set to stop charging when it gets to 14.9, which may seem like a lot, but 
I want those the juice to come in there until I can't get any more juice, which would be about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> so those candles and those six or eight, sorry, are just there to totally charge up the batteries, give it both charging as much as it can. Fill those batteries up. All right. And then I have eight more on this side. The six on the left are part of that same original charge controller. So I have 12 panels on one charge controller. And then the two on the right are on their own separate charge controller, another PWM. So I got two PWMs and two MPPTs controlling the juice from here. Now these two uh, solar panels on the right that I have through their own PWM, I have this one set to shut off charging and when it gets to 13.7. So if it gets up above 13.7 juice in the batteries, these panels will not be producing any more electricity because that would just overboil the, the, the batteries or whatever because this is on the west side of the house. But uh, the, the, the two panels on the right will only come into use when I'm running the window air conditioner and it's draining the batteries down a little bit farther than I would have liked. So if I can keep it in float mode when the air conditioner is running, everything is running perfect. There was a couple of days last summer when I wasn't quite able to do that or I had to wait till like one o'clock or so in the afternoon to turn it on waiting for enough energy to get into the batteries to turn on the, the air conditioner. So now, because of those additional 500 watts I have out there on the front, I should more than cover the air conditioner. And then uh, the four panels I have up on the roof, the extra four, were the ones that were down here before. <clears throat> and that all makes sense in my brain. I don't know if the way I'm explaining it makes any sense. But those six over there and the six on that side, on the other side of the roof, are on one big charge controller. That one's the uh, Midnight Classic 150. It's handling the majority of the charging duties. And then the two on the other side and the two on this side are on each, on two separate PWM charge controllers, just to give it a little extra boost when I need it, like when I'm running the air conditioner or something like that. And then these two here on the front are going through the Epever MPPT charge controller. So I'm hoping it should be, I should have more than enough juice for this summer. I already showed I have more than enough juice through the winter. Not had a problem at all with the winter. I've even used my little electric space heater a few times. So, it was during the summer when I'm trying to run the air conditioner that I needed the extra juice. All right, and now on to the uh, rainwater collection. It's all done. I used those uh, flexible connections more than I thought I would. Um, I had that one, where am I? I had that one going all the way across. So it connects the water from both sides of the cabin, runs it through this gutter, and then I cut a hole in the bottom of that gutter and it drains down into that and goes straight down into my first flush system, which I now have open. There's no ball or anything in there in the bottom. I want to clean out all the junk and stuff that's in there. But it's all hooked up, it's all work, it will all work when I get the bottom on there. It's all sealed up here with silicone. That'll turn clear. So this one's all done. And I think I finally got the other one all designed enough in my head to do it. So that should be fairly easy. Got the two wooden blocks underneath it to hold it up. Should never hold that much weight. I mean, maybe 40 pounds. So, but my rainwater flush thing is done. Of course, wouldn't you know it, Yesterday I was taking a shower 
got myself all soaked up and the water pump stopped. It just shut off. Now it had done that once before and it was off for about four or five minutes and then it turned back on so it was no problem. Well, this time after standing there for 10 minutes I realized this one was not going to come back on. So I had to take other steps to rinse all the soap off me. So I ordered a new water pump. That thing is less than six, well it's only about six months old. I ordered it in July and it has a four year warranty on it. So I'm going to see if they'll honor the warranty and then I'll have a, a pump for a backup because I ordered a new pump. So I mean I can't be waiting around with no running water. So now what I have to do is fill up a five gallon bucket with out of a hose from the black tank and carry it inside and it's like I was when I first got this place. So, but all the plants appear to be surviving and doing all right. Ooh, this one's actually getting green on the outside now. I love it. Cool. It's still, spring's, spring's not gonna be here for three more weeks, so. You can see all the ocotillos are starting to green up. So spring is not very far away. And see, there's the saguaro right there. Doing good. Well, got the first flush done on the big tank by the awning. Got the bottom all leveled out. Now, as good as I can. It's all nice and smooth down there and level and I'd do a bunch more digging than I thought I was gonna have to. <laughs> but I got it all done. Utilized more of that uh, flexible green pipe than I thought I was going to. And this piece over here, I know I'm going to have to replace in the not too distant future. Um, only because I don't think the sun, it will like the sun beating on it for too long. But it comes down to here and then it goes into there when the ball, we'll have a ball down there in the bottom. And when the water comes in off of the gutters, it'll come in down the gutter and down here and it'll go down there. And there's a ball down there. And of course the ball floats and as it comes up, it comes up, it comes up, as the water keeps coming up, it'll come up into here and the ball will fit into a fitting. It'll plug the water off from going into there and it'll divert all the rest of the water into the tank. And I was asked what the purpose of these are. And the purpose is to get all the sand and bird poop and dead bugs and other stuff out of the water you want to use and down into a something you can use for watering the plants or a garden or something. Because all it'll have in it is bird poop and dead bugs and sand, which won't hurt anything. Now, I don't have any of it glued together. I just got it all put together. I need to get a new one of these things for putting the spigot into for down there. Because that one's all stripped out and that spigot will not go in there straight. And that's, I mean, I wanted a spigot for down there too, but I didn't get one. I ended up buying that plug for it. It's like, oh yeah, that's why I bought it. So, but I like how the green pipe just fit right in the built-in small hole on the top of the, the container water tank. Fits in there fairly snug. Um, it won't pull straight out. You'll have to wiggle it out, wiggle it out, wiggle it out. So, I mean, there's a little bit of room for bugs and stuff to get in there, but not a whole lot. So, but ended up using every bit of that black pipe, every bit. Used up all of that green pipe except for this little thing. I just couldn't. I almost had a use for it, but it didn't quite work the way I was anticipating, so.
gorgeous day today. It's supposed to be about 72 or so. I imagine it's probably about 65 now. And it's probably close to 11 o'clock. So, but here's the ball that goes in that thing. So, I've got more fittings and more parts. And, and I got two elbows I can take back. Eight bucks a piece, I like that. So now the, uh, the final project to get this place ship shape is basically done. I just know I don't have enough glue left to do the whole job over here, so I'm not even gonna start gluing it. I can enough, got enough, about one more joint. And I need one, two, three, four at least. So, but it's done. It's all hooked up. It'll start collecting water now.